leaders use the common man for their selfish gain. How do you even sleep at night, mother? The politics of this world, the rich gets richer, and the poor, poorer. I was going to live life on my own terms, and let the chips fall where they may. Target, we plan, we execute. Daddy, school fees, can't you? Hey, hey. You don't mean it! We are cool game. Fuck it. I'm in! You understand that, daddy? If you want to get out of here, you're going to get out of here. 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 I love money. Money. Where is my money? I need names. Bounties out on their mother's head, and two names have been mentioned. One of them was Snake. I'm the girl who's going to bring you Snake's head on a platter. Tell me what I'm ready. Hello everyone, welcome to an amazing time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when new videos come up. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Rattlesnake. It's a 2020 Nigerian movie. If this is a movie that you would, you know, buy popcorn, you will sit down like homework and see this movie. Like, listen, I need to see this movie. Good thing though, I have not seen the first Rattlesnake. So I'm going into, like I went into living in bondage and other new movies that have you know a remake going in, into them with fresh eyes per se so i'm not biased i'm not like oh this one happened then that one did not happen then and it's amazing ramsey noah is trying but it was directed by ramsey noah now this movie has amazing actors and actresses like stan nze osas igodaro buchi franklin odera adimora Efa Iwara, Emeka Mwabaro, Cha Nubek Young, um, Elma Mbadiwe, Gloria Young, Chinye Wilfred, Toby from Big Brother Niger, yeah, Atalago, and Sonny McDon. Now, this movie is amazing. You need to see this movie. Please. You know this way you people like carrying gist and all that. When I heard that Nengi acted in Rattlesnake, I'm like, wow, oh my god. Yeah, and Omotola Jalate acted in Rattlesnake as well. Okay, she was like, um, you know, woman of art, an art concierge, per se, you know. She gathered art and all of that, all the society right into this movie. This movie has to do with this boy. The movie started in a very, very crazy way. It showed Stan and Zay narrating how the first time he saw a dead guy and all of that was when he was age six to seven. For me, that particular intro had no correlation to anything at all. Yeah, um, you would say that uh, justification of what they do to armed robbers, the way the society viewed poor armed robbers to the society views and accepts politicians who are also take typhooning money and you know engaged in all kinds of criminal activities okay okay fine but for me it had no correlation it wasn't necessary at all and then we go into the movie proper now we see i had to see rattlesnake the ahana story it's second time for me to understand that actually Ahana was the son of Sonny McDonald and Chinye and Wilfred because the way they were doing it was as if this boy Ahana was the son of that robber that was being killed initially, burnt in you know, jungle justice thing. And uh, Ahana was with 
Chinye, Wilfred, and Sonny McDonald as kind of an adopted son or something. So I, I, I couldn't really get it per se until I had to see this movie yet again to understand it. And boy, this movie is a complicated, engaging movie. At some point, I was drawn to it. I was on the side of the actors. I was in the movie because I was like, oh gosh, let these guys, the Amadas, let them not die let him not do this let him not do that now ahana ahana lost his father at a very at not really quite a young age but you know age 16 17 there about and after the burial of his father his mother left him in the village and went with his smaller siblings and um, the uncle entered the whole show that is um chinwe talagu chinwe talagu took over and married his mom and blah 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 which he and Anna did not know. He, had to, he was left in the village to stay with his with his grandma, and there he went to school, graduated, couldn't find a job, got frustrated, and his grandma gave him, you know, directions to see his mom. Um, when he got to Lagos, he got robbed, he got stranded, and that was how he met Fi Wara, who was who used to hawk books, and he helped him hawk those books and gave him, t, you know, TP to go meet his mom. Um, he went to meet his mom, and what he saw there, he could believe it his mom was actually shacked up with his father's brother they were living together as man and wife and she was acting like you know uh, I didn't know what to do blah 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 it just happened and she couldn't just explain why she abandoned her son and had not seen her son for several years his siblings were not with her I think they were outside the country there about so he left that place feeling despondent angry frustrated and went to see his friend in Zeno his friend Zenozo and Osasi Kodaro in Ze and Amara. Yeah, he kind of like says, See, 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 my, see my predicament and all that. Only for Osasi Kodaro to tell Ahana that see your friend is owing some people and he has just that day to pay the money or 24 hours to pay the money five million. And Ahana says, Okay, you know what? Um, I can help you. I think I can help you. So they kind of like plan this robbery attack on his own mom and his uncle. When they got there, things did not just end, did not end the way they wanted it. He ended up shooting his mom and the uncle and killing them. They died in the process. So this whole thing turned into one huge tragedy that he could not just understand or fathom. He had to get away. But came back with a resolve to rob so-called rich criminals. Okay? So, Hanna was the brain. Then you have Osas, who was the account, the mathematical head and the planning um, of the eyes. The Nze, the crackhead and brother to Osas, a friend to Ahana was the ginger guy, the muscle guy. And then we have Egbe, the weapon guy and, you know, he had strength. We also have uh, Bala 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 Bala, Fiwara, you know, as part of the team. And then finally, we, ha we have Sango, who was the computer guy, the tech guy. So together, they call themselves the Amadas, I think so, robbing people and all of that. Now, what struck me in this movie was when the whole country was now, you know, security operatives were now bent on discovering them and the things that ensued later. You will see yourself aligning with the Amadas, with Ahana and his friends. And you will see betrayal at his peak, suspicion, betrayal, death. It really killed me when, uh, you know, Sango was killed and, you know, they were all rounded up and arrested and detained. But as usual, Ahana, the brain disappeared. I understood everything. I understood the back corners, the planning. They made sense. It was like I was watching a Hollywood movie. I can't remember any Hollywood movie, but it was brilliant, okay? You know, that thing, I'm like, oh, seriously, Nigerians did this. Oh, my gosh. It was wonderful. Why do people keep saying that Nengi acted? Nengi did not just mouth even one second. Our response was just one second, less than a second. And, hey, 
fine. The other thing that I found disturbing in this movie was Ramsey Noah appearing from nowhere, Richard, again. Oh, that you will need to check my card. I don't know the thing. It's like um, there's this evangelist that used to be a, pro a movie producer or director. Helen, something I can't remember her name several years ago. For any movie she acts in, in front of any movie she has, any she's bankrolling or producing or directing, she must come there to give advice or be kind of like a, a Christian mother or a pastor mother to help them get born again or something, something just to feature. You don't have to show yourself the mere fact that Ramsey Noir is the director or has any connection to this movie shouldn't be the reason why he would be featuring in all these movies. What's the correlation between I understand living in bondage because he acted in living in bondage? Okay, fine and good, we understand. But what was he doing in Rattlesnake? Why was he in Rattlesnake? What is the correlation there? Why is he in Rattlesnake? What is that thing that you came to come and do with Hannah Maria, that art gallery and all that? It didn't make sense at all to me. Maybe I just saw that scene. I was like, oh my god, these people have just killed it. They've, they've, they've just annoying the living daylight out of me well, apart from that the movie was awesome was amazing i like the bank heist you know the bank robbery and how Hannah was able to get out of that place get his friends out uh, apart from Inze, who still did what he usually used to do but uh, all in all the movie was awesome the movie was amazingly amazing the movie was oh oh it's that good yeah i didn't see part one so i didn't see the first old one so better for me you know it was it was good good it was good the sound was wonderful the lighting was wonderful apart from what i things that i pointed out movie is a good watch which brings me to the end of this review i'll be rating this movie an eight over ten it was brilliant it was that good um up there you see my nigerian movie reviews my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and like my videos too. Thank you so much for your support. Till I see you next time, it's bye from me.